Hi, welcome back everyone. Um, another bike check today. I did actually film a really nice ride video yesterday, but I got home and checked the footage and I had a really dirty lens, so I made a fully rookie mistake by not checking any of my footage. So it's all unusable. Go me. So I thought I'd give you a close look at my Marin Headlands, because it's changed quite a lot over the last few weeks and I'm constantly changing bits and bobs and it's got to the point where I kind of like it now. So yeah, I'll give you a closer look. All right, so at the front I've got these Marin own brand bars, actually. They are slightly flared, as you can see. Um, aluminium, I don't know, they're out the bars. They work, they're 44 mil wide at the tops and I think 46 at the bottom. I might have just made that up, so yeah, who knows? And they are wrapped in this lovely fabric tape, which is really nice and takes out a lot of the vibrations. Stem, just a standard unbranded, I think it's 100 mil. So I've been changing my stem length a lot and this seems to work. So I might upgrade to a posh stem at some point. My cool top cap. Tyres wise, I'm running the WTB Rattler. They are tubeless, a 44 mil wide. Um, I think they actually do come up slightly bigger than mine about a 46, I think, because of the rim width. The wheels I'm rocking. So these are Steyr 29er rims laced to DT Swiss 350s. Um, the complete wheel set I think is about 1500 grams, which is really, really good, you know, for a gravel wheel set. They are, is their 29er rim, which essentially is the same as a 700C rim. Right, so the rim width, internally they're 24 mil and externally they are 30 mil, so they're a decent wide rim. I love the wheels, by the way, I'm just gonna say this. So the frame itself is a Marine Headlands 2, um, it is full carbon frame, full carbon fork. This is the size 56 and I'm six foot one, just in case anyone was thinking about sizing. I did have the 58 and I've sized down to a 56 and now it's proper nice. Just an own brand Marin seat post with the Fabric Line S saddle on it. I'm really liking the Fabric Line S. I was running the ALM and the Line S has stayed for now. I've yet to do a proper long ride on it, and that's kind of what it's designed for because of the lockdown restrictions. Jury's still out on long rides, but so far I'm really, really, really liking it. And I've got one on the Watt bike. I've been racing a lot of crits on that, and I've never really, uh, well, and I haven't, and I haven't had a problem with rubbing or any sort of uncomfortableness, uncomfortability, and um, what's the word? Discomfort. Any discomfort, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Uh, what else have I got? I've got my fabric water bottle, nice, with a fabric bottle cage and then a fabric pump attached to it. I like having everything on my frame when I'm racing gravel or riding gravel, just because it frees up your pockets and stuff. So yeah, I do have a frame. Mount, I do have a pump mounted to the frame. I have these Look Extract carbon pedals. I've always used a Time Attacks, so it was a, it was a big leap for me using something like Look, um, and I really like them so far. They keep your foot on the pedals and. Yeah, the pedals, your foot clips in, your foot doesn't come off, and they're, they're a decent pedal, so happy with those. Crank set is the FSA Gossamer Pro. Gossamer? Gossamer? Gossamer Pro? Gossamer. Gossamer Pro. I've got Juliet correcting me from another room. <laughs> so yeah, it's the FSA Gossamer Pro. So group set wise, everything apart from the crank is a Shimano GRX group set, which is their gravel group set. It's 11 speed, hydraulic brakes, Really nice, you know, but I do not have a, what? I thought you made coffee. I did, it's in the cups. Oh, it's in the cups? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want milk? Yes, please. Okay. So I do have a SRAM cassette on the back because I find the range much better, um, much better. It's a 10 to 42, and the Shimano ones, I believe, are 11 to 42, maybe. And it's an XD driver on my wheels, so, you know, kind of goes with SRAM, so that seems to work all quite nicely. What else do I have? Juliet's here, she's like, I always miss things on my bike. So I've done wheels, tyres, banging, banging, seat, banging, pedals, nice. Bars. Bars, standard. Have you spoken about the frame? The frame, yeah, yeah. Full carbon frame, lovely frame. I'm going to do a proper review of the frame, by the way, at some point. I mean, there's not a great deal left to say. There's not, is there? You know? Do you like this colour more than my other one? I like this colour more than my other one. And do you like this colour more than Juliet's one? I kind of match your, your bike frame in my jumper The today. best colourway is my new one. Juliet thinks the best colourway is her new one. It is, though. It's super nice, isn't it? I, I do think it's nice. Yeah. Hey, you know what we should do? We what? should get all three, because we've got three Roman Headlands. Yeah. 
and we should um, let the viewers decide which is the best one. Mm -hmm. I think this isn't fair though. I think <laughs> I should I should have like a banging component sponsor that's going to send me loads of electronic stuff because everyone's just going to be swayed by your like snazzy electric gears. I know that's why I suggested know? it. Okay, well then we'll do road bike versus road bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Juliet's full axis set up, full custom carbon, custom painted. Well, You've you got... don't do, do too badly out of it. I gave you my yeah, exact group. I was going to say, it kind of shows one of them, it's like the, the two opposite polar opposites of custom, right? You've got Juliet's custom, which is like full factory custom, and then you've got my custom, which is garden shed custom, keeping it real. So the only things I'd change would be the Possibly the stem, bars and seat post, just because I like carbon and carbon to look nice and it takes out a bit of vibrations. I suppose the important question is how much does it weigh? How much does it weigh? How much do you think? What do you reckon? Juliet's just there. What do you reckon? I've never picked it up. Uh, nine kilos? Oh blimey. You're going to knock that plant over. 9.8. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's not too bad, right, for a gravel bike? I've got no idea, I've got no benchmark. Um, <laughs> so it does have 44 mil wide tyres on it. A crap load of sealant in there because I'm scared of punctures. Not bad. So I hope you enjoyed this closer look at my Marin. Let me know any questions, comments, etc. below. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.